one of the driving forces behind this movement, the Illuminati, is the satanic cult movement in this country today. So I began my little journey forward. And one of my, one of the matters that I developed information about was an individual I learned about was Alistair Crawley. He likes to be, have his name pronounced Crowley to rhyme with holy. And uh, the Satanists today, and for the number of years in the past, have basically used his philosophy and his writings as a guide. He had so many Masonic degrees that you could fill up five pages of a book with them. This guy was probably the most highly honored Mason in the world. He styled himself the wickedest man in the world. He believed himself to be the great beast, and he changed his name to Alistair Crowley so he could, it would add up in both English, Hebrew, and Greek Kabbalah as 666. In 1904, Crowley had a communication with an extraterrestrial being named Ewas, and this being, through his wife, kind of a channeling type operation, brought forth a book that was called the Book of the Law in 1904 and this book declared that the slain and risen God i.e. Jesus had stepped off the throne and that a new God the crown and conquering child was taking his place as a result of this Crowley proclaimed the end of Christianity and the start of Crowleyanity Crowley taught that the way you could live forever was by vampirizing little children sexually. And he personally bragged of having slaughtered 150 male children in one year. This is why he was called the wickedest man in the world. And now listen to this sentence, folks, closely. For the highest spiritual working, one must accordingly choose that victim which contains the greatest and purest force. A male child of perfect innocence and high intelligence is the most satisfactory and suitable system. We're talking about human sacrifices. And they'd also drug them up. And they'd take a sacrificial knife and they'd start from the chest and move all the way down to your abdomen. And then that's how they sacrificed, and they collect the blood and they drink it. Um, when the mid-September through um, mid-November, they sacrifice babies and nothing but babies because they need the pure blood of the untainted children. And I was really, I didn't understand what it was like. I just can't believe I'm seeing this every every year of my life. I've experienced that, and I was that was the hardest part for me. It's like hearing those babies literally scream and cry, and then seeing their blood flow. The little boy was taken to a basement. He was crucified alive. First, he was skinned. Why is it that no one knows this? Because there's Satanists in the police force and also in the government, the army, they're everywhere. They're even on the council of yeah, the represent representatives of the United States also. And they're silenced because this is not being exposed because they don't want it to be exposed because they're really good at lying and hiding things. Rebecca, what happens to the people that want to come out of Satanism? They get killed, they get followed, they get taken, they get sacrificed in front of the congregation of the Satanic Church. Why? Because they know too much information about the Satanists and who their names and places of where they keep the people underground and they just know too much information. There's no, it's like I'm being in a gang or in a mafia. You don't get out alive without consequences.
control the world by bankrupting their own businesses. The Illuminati owns most, I would say, 99 and 9 tenths of the stores that you walk into and shop and the gas stations you go to. And they are going to destroy them on purpose. And the idea of taking over is to bankrupt the whole world where nothing is of any value and the currency does not exist anywhere and then come back and solve all the problems. These, these guys who are, who are manipulating my mind and programming me for mind control purposes claimed, and these criminals in control of our country as well, claimed to be gods, demons, and aliens in order that I feel totally helpless, in order that I felt like they were beyond my realm to affect. Why do they keep the aliens in a Faraday shielded environment? Because they have a tendency to disappear right through walls. And if you can prevent the transmission of electromagnetic energy, you can stop them from doing it. Then, this, the medium said, we have a very special surprise tonight for you people. A spirit will manifest itself openly here in a few minutes and right through the wall. <laughs> now the, the lights weren't uh, terribly bright, but they, you know, they were like living room lights. Uh, a couple of floor lamps, and maybe some of these. And that uh, translucent being seemed to come right out of the wall. How did you feel right at that moment? It's almost like my heart stopped a little bit. Okay. You know, very weird feeling. So it was a lady in a beautiful evening gown, floor length. And she said to, to Mary, my dear sister, you are so wonderful to have asked for me. So, he said, the, the supposed spirits of the dead that you're talking with are demon spirits. They're fallen angels. They're beautiful beings. Just set it out, just like Oh, that. yeah. It didn't make you uneasy when he said they were... Well, you know, it shocked you a little bit, you know. Something that you first hear uh, uh, mentioned to you. He said, uh, you guys have got a great future ahead of you. Because we've been told, the high priest of our society, secret society, has been told that the master has very special plans for you to... Now, what did he mean by the master? Uh, Satan. He said that she was made successful in her singing career by a dear friend of hers that was the same age as she and died when she was 18 years of age and Loretta was trying to get into the, the singing world you know but it, it, it would she says I had no success at all until one night I was sitting in bed reading a book and she says who walks right through the wall with my, my friend the spirit of my friend and she says Loretta I'm going to make you a very famous person in singing Western uh, country music, and I will be with you all the time. She said her voice went through me, the power. See, and you saw this in a television documentary? Yeah. yeah. So this was, I believe, 1976 it took place. Now, the priest explained that when people believe in uh, this business, they are actually opening themselves to be completely deceived by demon spirits because it gives the demon spirits an opportunity to impersonate the dead see and for people to believe their lives <laughs>